Derrick Bell, legal scholar and teacher, was the first black law professor at Harvard Law School to achieve tenure and one of the first black people to dean in a non-historically black law school. Bell was also the founder of an academic model that is argued about today called critical race theory. Now, Bell attended public schools in Pittsburgh and graduated from Duquesne University in 1952. He received a law degree from the University of Pittsburgh School of Law in 1957. And once graduation, joined the Department of Justice. Because of Bell's interest in racial issues, he was transferred to the Civil Rights Division. Once there, however, Bell was pressured to relinquish his membership in the NAACP. Bell refused to quit the NAACP, and in retaliation, his superiors moved his desk into the department's hallway and reduced his docket of cases. In 1959, Bell resigned from his job and went to work at the NAACP. In 1969, Bell left the NAACP to become a professor at Harvard Law School. After receiving tenure in 1971, he remained there till 1980. Bell then moved to the University of Oregon to become the first black dean of a law school there. He argued the law school to hire more people of color and when it rejected the Asian American female applicant whom he felt was qualified, he resigned his deanship in protest. Now, Bell returned back to Harvard in 1986, but took a leave of absence in another protest when Harvard Law School declined to grant tenure to two professors of color. His departure from Harvard became permanent in 1992 when he ran out of leave time. Meanwhile, Bell accepted positions as visiting professors at the New York University Law School where he continued to teach until his death in 2011. Now, Derrick Bell's views on the future of race relations in the United States were controversial. He outlined those views in his 1992 book, Faces at the Bottom of the Well. Bell saw race as an integral, permanent, and indestructible feature of American life due to what is called the congruence dilemma, which positioned that whites would never eliminate racism unless it was in their own self-interest to do so. Oh, so thank you, Derek Bell, for making your appearance on Higher Education TikTok. Faces at the bottom of the well. Get your own copy.